experiment. So here's what I came up with. I've got my magnifying sheet frame and I created a, a little stand uh, to paste the sun on it and keep it the same height over the flat surface of a table. So the sun is always going to be parallel with the surface. And uh, check this out. All right, here's the first test of a sun moving over a flat surface. And with no atmospheric magnification, it does what we might expect it would. It gets smaller as it goes away from us. All right, now let's see what happens when we add in our atmospheric magnification. Again, water and refraction. Water causes magnification and refraction, right? So let's bring the sun back. Oh, check this out. Refraction bends the light downward. <laughs> It made the sun set on a parallel surface. As it was moving parallel, the same height, the whole way over a flat surface, the refraction caused the sun to set. Not only that, well, let's uh, bring in the beginning of that little test, and we see that it maintained pretty much the same size, too. Uh, pretty close. Ha. Uh, and of course, that's because as it's moving away, the magnification is, is still uh, taking place. And so even though the sun's further away than it was in the beginning of the test, uh, the magnification basically preserved the same size and the refraction made it set. Now, I'm just going to put forward a crazy idea for you to think about. And that is, <laughs> if Rob Skiba could figure this out, I'm just I'm I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I think it it's quite possible that the creator of the cosmos could have figured out the same thing and engineered our beautiful sunsets thanks to all of that water he placed in our atmosphere. Just something to think about.